Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Sam the Slam here, aka Samuel Elliott. Welcome back to another Slam Journals. And, uh, you know, I would be doing the Slam Journal later tonight, but I decided to do it now because in the background, if you hear any noise in the background, my son's in here. And, uh, Ryan, what? come here. Come show, come get, come be in a cameo. Come here. See, my son's right here. Keep going. <laughs> Look how small you are. Playing Nintendo. This is my son. Among us. He's among us. Look how big this boy is. Good lord, he's ten years old. Watching YouTube. All right, here you go. Yeah, that's my boy. That's my my ten year old son, Ronnie. And then my furry son's around here, Sebastian, my cat. Um, there's a lot of... And this is just before he goes home. And there's like a... My bipolar or whatever, my anxiety and depression is like a fight. I know it's talk. This is some real talk here. I mean, it's always real talk, but it's like with my son. Look, he's autistic, a little on the spectrum, ADHD. I mean, that's how I am. And um, he, he's just, he's the best in the world, but then he comes in when he, get, and he, when he doesn't mind, it just sits everybody, but I just get really frustrated and stuff, and uh, I've, been, I've, been start, I've been getting him every, I usually give him two weekends in a row and have a weekend to myself, but now I've been doing every other weekend, um, and uh, but my girlfriend, she's also here, she's taking a nap before we go and take him home in a couple hours and I won't see him next week because next weekend we have a, a plan we're going to go uh, going to Harhound Harhound weekend the Har the Harhound weekend in Indianapolis which I'm excited about but also not excited about because I don't really have much money to spend over there hell it's like 45 bucks you seem to get in just to walk in around and it's I don't know just really I don't know I'm here to have a good time uh, but I'm frustrated just because uh, you know I, I get I get all excited there's something coming up and we're, right, we're excited for it and then when the day comes it's just my mind just goes I was like nah, I ain't getting anything I don't know if I'm still going to get anything. I, I mean, I kind of want to get me a t-shirt and a uh, an art print or a print, a small print to put on my wall. But other than that, this is also day two of THC Zero, which is basically me with no T. Well, THC is still in my body, but this is the second day of no THC. These first couple days are the worst for me. Uh, they really like uh, my anger and everything. Just I always snap and then I go back to smoking. Every time I go back to smoking, when something doesn't go my way, it uses the crutch or whatever. And now I'm trying to. You know, I'm 33 years old and I'm trying to figure out. You know, I I really don't want this anymore. I mean, marijuana. I mean, it helps, but then it doesn't help. Certain strains for me, if it's a sativa or hybrid, it kind of, I mean, more of sativa though than anything, I get really paranoid for some odd ass reason. I don't know what it is, but if, it, but if it's a indica strain, I'm more chilled out and relaxed. But I overdo it. And then I get, I get really high and I get really, I don't do it around him or nothing. Um, I always, never be around him. Um, but I'm just trying to, I remember my son told me, he used to stop smoking. You know, I, I tell him I smoke cigarettes. And so that's why I say cigarettes, but he's like, you need to stop and hurt your lungs, Dad. And I'm trying to overcome these obstacles. 
and I get so stressed, like I, said, I get so stressed out with anything. I, a, little, a little thing, I just snap. Um, but yeah, like I said, my tattoo gets, I get me a tattoo from my friend's wife. Um, I ain't never getting any uh, scratch tattoos ever again, and that's no, that's no, just, that's no hate on my friend's wife and shit like that. I just can't take care of it. I got, I gotta have a, a licensed person that has the right stuff. Okay, tell me to get this stuff, get this, and yada yada. That'd I need great. to get some drink. Okay. It's the same thing. Right? Okay. It gets Kool-Aid. Same thing. Probably a bunch. But I mean, uh, I'm not. Go I gotta have a real. I just don't like spending a lot of money on a tattoo. But you know what? If you want the best, you need to get the best. And so that's it. I mean, this is my scratch darn. All of these. This, not from a professional. This, be with some butt. It'll look shitty as hell. Not professional. And my typo negative. Not professional. So. I think I will have one professional, well, I mean, from now on, no more scratch. I can't do it. I can't take care of myself. Uh, I mean, yada, yada. I mean, I work out, and that's the thing, too. I work outside in the heat. And, yeah, but it's just, yeah. So we're, we're hanging in there. But also, too, like, you know, we can talk about work for a minute here. I mean, I hate being in the heat, but I get my job done. But the thing is, though, I have to be on a fit. I have to be on my my girlfriend calls it my autistic or my OCD schedule. I work nine to four all the time. Nine to four is perfect for me. I wake up around six thirty seven just to get the day to eat my breakfast, yada yada, and around seven o'clock or seven thirty. So that's when I take my medication. But the thing is, though, this and I have it on my availability. Nine to four, do the transportation. Nine to four, do my transportation. I went in my schedule last night to see my my. I usually work three days out of the week because I still got a little SSI, a little Social Security to help on my part. Yeah, and I don't understand. What the pro what the issue is here? I don't care if it's one day or not. I'm not going to be that way because it's not mentally possible. At the at the certain time, I'm sharing a car with my mother, so she's got to go to work, and I get to go drive to work. I'm not riding the damn fucking bus, and yeah, I'm not doing that. No, thank you. I don't care. I'm not doing that. I have to be on a set schedule. I have to take certain medications. I usually take around 7.30, 8 o'clock just to get it re going. My, my anxiety meds. My fuse bar for my anxiety, which I take every damn day because I get anxious to go to work all the time. So now I gotta talk to the I gotta talk to the head honcho because our new our new leads, the woman that just left, was awesome. Great. And even the, 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 the head up lady now who took Ashley's old job, awesome. So I hope I can talk to her tomorrow, or I have to talk to the other person who I do not, who I cannot stand. I cannot stand her. I cannot, if you watch this video, I cannot, you ain't gonna watch this video, but I cannot stand you. I don't like you. I don't care about you. But you're one of our leads. So if I have to talk to you tomorrow, you're going to fix the fucking thing. You're going to fix the schedule. Because I'm not doing, I don't care. And at this point, I'm probably going to be working grocery. Because I found out one of my co-workers is working that day too at a certain time. So, yeah. So we're going to have to get this, I'm going to get this underway tomorrow. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to like, hey. I'll be like. You need to fix this because what's on my availability is 924. I'm not going to come in at 7. I'm not coming in at 8. Look at the ability. Look, look at the contract that I signed. 9 to 4. 9 to 4. Are you that fucking stupid? 924. But yeah, I'm just. I, I just want to get that vent off my frustration because I just don't. I don't give a damn. 
you gotta work on my schedule that works for STS, not for you. So, that's what I plan on doing. So I'm already pissed off as it is because I don't. It's also gonna be Thursday. I hate Thursdays. Thursday. If I had to have the least favorite day of the week, is Thursdays. My favorite day of the week is tomorrow. It's Monday. If I had to put my favorite day of the week of work, it's Monday. My least favorite day, Thursdays. And then Fridays, when I work on Fridays. So, but yeah, Wednesdays, Wednesdays ain't so bad. But also talking about Wednesday, of course. Um, well, I'll be going back to the gathering place, the, the church group. And it's like, you know, I don't, I don't, I, and the thing is, I'm trying to, just get in there. We just know it, but I just everybody's so God Almighty, and I just go. I can't relate to anything. But everybody's got Bible scriptures, and everybody, oh, 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 you know. And I can't. I'm like, I can't be around. I just, I don't. I just don't relate to it. You know. And I'm sorry, Father. You know, I, I'm trying to be around people. And it's just like, but then it's too. We stay up late, and I don't like that. That's the other reason. If I was off the, on Thursday, I wouldn't give a damn about staying up late or having a Christian encore of, of worship songs. Um, I'm not my friend Dev who can just, just oh, having Father, uh, we are all the we are the best people around, and we can get through this temptation. He can go up to the crowds and do that. He can go up to this for everybody. I can't do that. I'm not really good at even praying. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm simple guy. I don't go up to people. Oh, hey, can I pray for you, sir? No, I'm the guy who, if if I'm at work walking around, if I see somebody, whatever, you know, okay, yeah, pray for them, Father. I hope they have a good day. You know, everybody who I meet when I'm outside retrieving the carts, I hope you have a good day, man. It's a good day, sir. That's what I do. I don't go up to you do that. I don't, I'm a very socially awkward person. But it's just, I just want to be around positive people. And people come to me, hey, hey, hey. but when I go over there, you, I mean, yeah, I talk to James. I talk to Devlin. I'm not, I don't, Amati, uh, one, one hell of a singer he is. He's a, he's great. I hope, I hope he's got some good stuff coming his way. He's going to Elevation Worship and the few that are coming up. But, I, but the thing is, the one thing I hate is just, I have to be home at a certain time. I'm sorry, but I mean, just, I gotta have enough, I gotta at least have six or seven, or we, I have to have at least seven hours of sleep. And last time, last Wednesday, we didn't get home till, I didn't go home till like 10.30. And I'm like, this can do. So, I appreciate what they have done, but at the same time is, I gotta do what's best for me. And right now, like I'm right now, I mean, I'm staying isolated. Oh, you can't stay isolated, brother. Well, I'm trying. Well, when I be, when I'm in a group, what like that setting, I'd rather be at home and be in my own area. You know, I don't know. That's just what it is. I wish I could be cool with these people and hey, Sam, you know, hey, what's going on, Sam? How you doing? I talk, but I just it. I don't know. But I'm, I'm gonna get out of here. I spoke long enough, but. I hate these days where I have to take, it's just, my son drives me insane, I love him to death, but at the end of the day when I have to take him home, I get really sad. When I drop him off, I have my girlfriend me all the time. I don't like being alone with my son. I, I always get stressed out. I, I like to have my girlfriend here. I, I love spending time with my woman with him. It's great. When they're both here, it's great. It's home. But when it, I take him back home and then take her back home and they'll go back to my hell, it start, it, it just, it, it, it happens every time, and I'll say I have a broken record every time I come back when I'm on the road back from my house to here. It's when I from my girlfriend's house. I just get down, and when I take him home and go best him, I get really just I get, I get emotional because I'm not gonna see him next weekend because we're gonna go to this convention. So. But y'all take care. Thanks for whoever watches these videos. This is just me venting off, and this is my slam journals. Y'all take care.